here with a story and an invitation for you. And this one is going to be about the subject of, what can I say, like receiving difficult feedback. I'm sure this is something that people think about and talk about all the time. I don't know about you, but I just hate receiving really hard feedback. I'm so sensitive and, you know, I could get so many, just I just could get a complete, uh, you know, Niagara Falls of positive feedback and if just one person didn't feel totally seen by me or didn't feel supported or a little were a little disappointed by a service that I gave them oh my god I can just go totally bananas and so this is exactly what happened just uh god I don't know it was a while back a while back and uh, I had given a reading this is one of the things that I do I had given a reading to someone in uh, human design and it just did not sit well with her it didn't, I mean, it wasn't even that bad. It was so funny. I got an email from her afterwards, and um, she just was very honest and just told me what worked and what didn't work for her. Um, and it was a little, it was a little tough. It was a little rough. I will say that. But when I had, you know, my husband look at it, he's like, Rosie, this is really not so bad. But for me, I literally spun out into uncontrollable shame spiraling. <laughs> and um, so... Yeah, and I think part of that was because the particular things that she was telling me were things that just, um, I just had never gotten that feedback before and it actually was the kind of feedback that I probably spend my whole life trying to avoid, you know, like not feeling seen, uh, not feeling like I was going deep enough, um, like the kind of things that I kind of really work to do. Um, Anyway, or not not being specific enough to her. Um, I mean, it, oh my God, just thinking about it, I have like I have a whole like sweats. <laughs> but anyway, it was so perfect for me. I'm so glad she she gave me that gift. I'm so glad she gave me that gift of that feedback because I got to experience what I do to myself when I receive feedback from somebody um, that that really strikes a chord, right? And so I got to look at, you know, my need to be liked for it by everybody or like how attached I can be to being a certain way or being perceived in a certain way or having my love received in a certain way. Also because I had put really a lot of love into this thing. So I felt kind of like rejected in a really deep way. Like, oh my God, how could she say that when I just like totally like gave my heart to this woman. <laughs> um, and also, um, I learned so much about how I can just really look at myself through the lens of other people and like completely forget what the reality is, what the truth is about myself. Because some of the things that she said I could take in and were useful, but some of them actually were kind of off. And, um, and, it, and of course, it took me some time to just be able to discern between those things, the, the feedback that was helpful and then the feedback that was just not, you know, maybe more of a reflection of our chemistry. Um, or reflection of some difficulties that she might have had in receiving that amount of love. It might have been a little bit too much for her. And then I could learn about, you know, kind of pacing myself and not bombarding people like her, and particularly like her, um, with that kind of energy. But anyway, um, two things I did that really, really helped me through that experience. First of all, well, three things. First of all, I just let myself go wherever I needed to go. I cried. I went into shame spiraling. I shared with my husband and my daughter how I was feeling. I just kind of let it out. The next thing I did, which was also so interesting because I'm usually like a super private person and I'm not necessarily a Facebook user that like tells everybody whenever I brush my teeth. Or <laughs> I'm not using it in that particular way, but I really sometimes I find Facebook is a really interesting uh it's a very interesting opportunity for people who tend to hold back and not to share and not to shine and to hide their light and to, you know, that kind of thing. Facebook can be a really interesting platform on which to practice some outing, some outing experiences. So I just like literally put on Facebook the whole thing. Just, I just received some horrible feedback. I'm in a shame spiral. <laughs> I just kind of outed myself in terms of how I was feeling. And then I actually asked for some support. I said, if anybody has anything loving or wise or kind to say to send my way, just please do it. And I got the most, the most wonderful outpouring of love from people that I know well and people like that hardly know me at all, but they were just so kind and sweet. And I just felt like this, I don't know, I just felt totally rewarded for putting it out there and for just letting like the, the friendly universe reflect back to me that 
I'm, you know, even if I totally fucked up, I'm still lovable. I'm still fine. Still many more people have enjoyed working with me than ha than the ones that haven't. And it's not the end of the world. And, and people had all kinds of interesting insights about how to work with feedback. Because I think it's something that we all have to deal with, right? And if we want to blossom, if we really want to come out and serve and be ourselves, then chances are we're going to be opening ourselves up to a projection field. And some people are going to like what they see. Some people aren't going to like what they see. Judgments abound. And so we need to learn how to tolerate the discomfort of putting ourselves out there, right? And dealing with, you know, the thoughts of the world, or at least our thoughts about what the thoughts of the world are. And some of us sometimes amplify uh, the negative stuff. So anyway, that was like a really, really good thing to do. And then another thing I wanted to share with you that really helped me, you know, aside from just letting myself go where I needed to go, outing my shame, opening up to support, just receiving the influx of love and support coming my way. Um, this, All these things really helped me. And then one of the people, one of a friend of mine, responded um, to my little Facebook plea for help. And uh, what was it? He, he sent me the funniest, most non-PC uh, video of a badass honey badger. I don't know if you've seen that before, but for some reason, it was like a healing balm to my soul. It's about this honey badger. Um, it's, I don't know how to, how to put it, but the video is hilarious. Maybe I'll put a little link here so you can you can check it out yourself if you haven't seen it. But it's not for the faint-hearted. It's it's kind of disgusting and a little bit sociopathic in some ways. But for me, it was perfect because it, it was this man who was being like a natural like a natural geographic commentator, but his personality is is kind of. Um, out there and you'll 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 see you'll see it for yourself but anyway so sort of like a natural uh, documentary style video being narrated by a comedian about an animal that just is so uh, brutally assertive in this world <laughs> uh that it i don't know it just it got me laughing and the laughter ultimately is what released me from the trap of my shame spiral so um, a little bit of non-PC uh, documentary films, funny jokes, obnoxiousness, somehow I think really helps in those moments when we're like so attached to being good and so afraid that somehow we're not good in the eyes of somebody else. Like, I don't know, this, there was something extremely releasing for me in that. So I wanted to share that with you. So uh, my invitations. What are my invitations? My invitations are one, next time you receive some negative feedback or maybe you have already received some negative feedback that you've been kind of like stuffing in because you still don't feel good about it and you still have some shame around it my invitation is to share it with somebody just whatever it is however or how much you, however much you feel you failed or you didn't live up to some standard that you hold for yourself just you know share it with somebody somebody let somebody see you and hold you in that state of shame and see if that helps. And if there's any time, you know, maybe use Facebook, maybe just use a friend, maybe just call someone up and say, hey, I need you to remind me of who I am. Like, even if I screw up, even if I'm not perfect, who am I basically? Just reconnect me with my innate goodness so I don't abandon myself just because I got a little piece of negative feedback. And then over time, you can start to discern between the parts of the feedback that are helpful for you and the parts that you could just say, ah, you know, that says more about that person who gave me that feedback than it actually does about me. Okay? Um, and then the second invitation is to really, you know, sometimes allow yourself to watch some bad TV <laughs> or just like see something that's totally uh, inappropriate, but it makes you laugh. Something that's so utterly obnoxious and so... Um, so reflective of your own shadow parts, the parts that you usually split off and push away and say, I cannot be like that. Expose yourself to that energy a little bit, and I think it will, uh, it will help you. Okay, so there you go.